Hi Libra, this is your bonus tarot reading for this month. Uh, we'll have three spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now and uh, it could be about pretty much anything. Then in the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in the, either regards to the urgent message in the first spread or it could be a general advice for the next couple of weeks. And uh, in the third spread, we'll look at the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified in the future to support this channel. Alright Libra, so here's what you urgently need to know right now. Here's what's coming towards you. We have uh, the Chariot clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, every single queen is on the table. <laughs> every single one of them. I assume you're the Queen of Swords, but perhaps there is another Queen of Swords out there. Right, so what you what you urgently need to know is you either have some kind of a trip coming up and all of you are gonna go, or all of you wanna go, <laughs> or somebody wants you to come uh, along, join them, or you have some kind of a new beginnings coming up, right? Some kind of a collaboration. Perhaps all of you are gonna be getting together and starting a book club, or all of you are gonna be getting together and starting a business together. All of you will join the same gym. I don't know. <laughs> if this is a Pisces uh, birthday party that's coming up, perhaps all of you are getting together for that Pisces birthday party, right? The Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, right? So yeah, the chariot, the first card I came out, could be a Cancer, you know, but the chariot could be a card of going somewhere, literally going somewhere, or it could be like a new beginning. And the thing about the chariot, it's a very victorious, triumphant, type of a beginning, right? I clarified the Queen of Wands just in case and the Three of Pentacles showed up. So yeah, the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, okay? So all of you are going to be getting together, perhaps there is even more people than just the four queens we have here. And uh, starting something together or doing something together. Again, book club, <laughs> business, joining the gym, going to the spa, traveling somewhere, right? Um, or is getting ready for a Pisces birthday party. I don't know what, what's happening here, but again, I don't think I've ever seen every single queen on the table. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, that's what you have coming up your way. And uh, let's take a look at the advice uh, for this particular situation in the second spread. Here's the second spread. Libra, this is the advice in regards to the uh, urgent message we saw in the first spread. We have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the Three of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So now that kind of makes sense. So it kind of looks like you're going to be struggling with the... Uh, this decision to either go with those people or uh, do whatever they all want to do or start this whatever it is they want to start and I think the advice for you is to move forward okay so yeah the six of swords the first card I came out is clarified by the five of wands the five of wands I think that is your internal struggle it's not going to be an easy decision perhaps this is just too fast for you or perhaps this is something you've never done in the past but for whatever, for whatever reason with the five of wands you're going to be you know, struggling with this. The Six of Swords is a card of literally going somewhere or starting something or having this new beginning, right? That's what it's all about. Um, and the, the rest of the spread, this is you, I guess, making up your mind to do it, <laughs> to join the party or to join this adventure, what have you, right? The Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think that Ace of Swords belongs to you. You are the King and the Queen of Swords, and both the King and the Queen of Swords are holding up a sword, so that's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. It's also a card that says yes. This is a card of a new beginning. This, this is also a very decisive energy, right? The Three of Wands in the middle is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and I think that's also you. That's the advice for you. And uh, the Six of Wands right next to the deck is a card of victory, success, just like the Chariot in the first spread. And it's also a card of feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on. So I think the advice for you is to, you know, move forward with this and be very decisive about it. All right, so yeah, <laughs> that's what I have so far. Let's take a look at spread number three. Libra spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you. That will at least put a smile on your face. 
Here's the third spread, uh, Libra, this is the next good thing that'll happen to you, that'll at least put a smile on your face. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Swords. Then we have uh, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. After that we have the King of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Cups. And we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with two people, actually, right? Um, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and uh, a fellow Air sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. Or... Well, let's talk about these two people, right? The King of Pentacles, that's that Earth sign that I was just referring to, or they may have a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, perhaps this is somebody who is very grounded, somebody who takes their time. <laughs> uh, they could be working for a financial institution, they could be an entrepreneur. The King of Swords could be, like I said, a fellow Air sign, or somebody with a lot of Air in their chart, or perhaps they are embracing the energy of the King of Swords, somebody who is very smart, intellectual, somebody who is very straightforward, honest, right? That type of a personality. Um, we have you here as well, Libra. Don't worry about it. There you are on the bottom of the deck. Justice is your major arcana card. That's you. And it's the only major arcana card on the table, right? That means you're the one choosing. And that's exactly what I think is happening here. You're going to be choosing between those two individuals. And... Uh, I think you're going to move forward with this King of Swords, <laughs> um, right? So, first of all, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, the Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. So, this is uh, the King of Pentacles gets the Nay. The King of Swords, on the other hand, gets the Yay, right? The King of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Cups. <laughs> the Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment or marriage. It's the happily ever after card. It's a family card. In the middle, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles always reminds me of you, Libra. Always, right? You see how there is a person standing up, standing in the middle? That person is holding up scales. And uh, the person in the Justice cards in the Justice card, is also holding up scales in one of the hands. They hold the sword in the other hand. So the person standing up in the Six of Pentacles, that's you, and you are choosing between those two people who are sitting down, right? And uh, one of those people sitting down is the King of Pentacles, the other one is the King of Swords. The Nine of Cups that the Six of Pentacles is clarifying is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And there you are with that smile on the face that I was referring to in the beginning of the spread. Right? So, yeah, mo for most of you, the King of Swords is the person to go with. That's what, that's what it kind of looks like. But again, it's going to be up to you. But, um, yeah, the King of Swords looks like the um, better choice for you. All right? So that's what I have for you. Uh, Libra for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Libra, have an amazing month. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.